This is a tale of two cities. Macau, a former Portuguese colony, now a casino powerhouse. The other, Hong Kong, a former British colony and an international financial centre. Both returned to Chinese rule in the late 1990s. But while Hong Kong pushed back against Beijing's tightening control in the following years, there was little opposition in Macau. Macau has a large population with a very strong mainland Chinese attachment, emotionally, politically and culturally. Having said that, in the recent years, there are a minority of young people in Macau who tend to support Western-style democracy. And one of those is 29-year-old Sulu Su, an opposition member of Macau's Legislative Assembly, who says gaining support for the fight for democracy is an uphill battle. Macau uh, handed over uh, in 1999 to China. Many people in Macau welcome and expect a better future. Um, and after 1999, Macau's uh, economy uh, developed uh, very fast. The government used uh, the economic resources to support the political control. While the British in Hong Kong instilled the idea of democracy in their final years, the Portuguese largely recognized China's sovereignty over Macau. Mainland China is crucial for the city's economy, bestowing favorable policies, boosting tourism, and building major infrastructure projects like the $20 billion Hong Kong Macau Zhuhai Bridge. Perhaps this is the most tangible symbol of the Communist Party's push to integrate Hong Kong and Macau into mainland China. When it was launched two years ago, it became the first physical link between the two former colonies and set them up for the next phase of unification, the Greater Bay Area Development Plan. It's part of Beijing's efforts to knit Hong Kong, Macau and southern Chinese cities into a tech hub. Macau is a very small open economy and it, uh, the population okay, is very small too and it is uh, living in a very restricted area of about 32 kilometers square. So what Macau can do is limited. With the strong support from China, Macau has tried to diversify its economy. China's leader Xi Jinping called Macau a shining example of the one country, two systems policy. One that Beijing says Hong Kong's outspoken people could learn from. Divya Gopalan, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.